Hello everyone, welcome on a new tutorial on Spark AR. This time it will be a little bit different because I want to recommend you a very cool website I just recently found out where you can find many templates for Spark AR. It's called filtro.com. Just type in filtro and you get here. I want to go straight on free resources and show you what you can do with it. So you see there are already pictures showing what the template will do, but I want to go through many of them with you. So click on view details and you can read the descriptions and click on download now. Put on your email address and copy it because it's gonna we're gonna save a little bit of time later. We have to do it every time we download something. So download it. Let's go see what it does. You click on the folder, click on the project. And see that's it so we're here in this template a patch has been already made we have these colors you can change of course you can add a new texture let's go on something I already have I got some image like random image Let's pick this one. Yep. Put the color on white. I'm going the other material. Let's make all of them white. Just because I want to replace the text here and I want it to, to be clear. Material 2. Change the color. Flat. New texture. You can also keep it standard if you want. It's a little bit different. Random image. I like this one. Let's go with this one. And last material. Of course you can have you know, five to six plans to planes to, I don't know, 10, 12. Here's just a, a start point. Everything has been already patched up. And uh, yeah, it's already here. Let's save this last texture and see. This is really cool put every textures in no compression you can go on the planes and select them all pause the video for a little bit and uh, go up there on edit the scale and with all of them selected you start grabbing you know all of this You can position it in a different place if you want. You can have a look in the patch editor to see whatever has been done. If you want to learn the patch to start from zero. And it's just really, really cool. All right, let's go further. I want to download this blinking eye, let's see. Now you can just go and paste your email address, click download. And we've got another project here, double click. And that's it. If you like this kind of effect, of course, you have to make yourself your own textures to change 
how the eyes looks but everything has been patched already so you just have to replace and probably resize your new texture and uh, you halfway there show height patch editor up on view to see the full patch nothing crazy nothing really complicated but maybe you're starting out now and uh, you don't know how to do it and this is really helpful so let's download another project let's try with this one download now paste your email that's an image I don't know why maybe it's not working for me maybe they're working on it I don't know we have many so let's go further this is a really cool one is a filter presentation mock-up if you want to present your filter and uh, have a more professional look I guess you download it you click on a folder and you have all this file and the Photoshop mm, file you can double click on it and uh, you're gonna find everything on Photoshop, replace your photos, replace your effect icon. So let's go further. I like that. View details. You download it. You can see the author there. Paste it. And uh, this is what we get. Oh, we get an ARP file, which means I can import it in, in my projects. So let's gonna test it out. Open a new project. I like to start with face mask because it gives me already face tracker and everything. Delete the image. This is unexpected error let's try to fix it all right the problem is there let's delete that and it's fixed click on the face paint material make sure you're in physically based and uh, let's drag in our patch put it inside the patch editor and let's patch it up i guess i need the rgb output to patch it patch it inside that and uh a texture probably yeah that's it you can change the value on rotation this is really cool actually can give it a more metallic look mess around with surface parameters of course you can change the blend mode that's if you click there you see how the patch has been made so you see it's a little bit more complex than it so it's really helpful Let's try to add the loop animation and uh, patch it inside rotation. Now that's really cool. This is really cool. You can now, you know, change the color a little bit. Start adding your own textures and uh, change the background. If you have followed my previous tutorials, you can do many things. This is really cool. Actually, I didn't didn't know about this so let's try another one let's try with change ice color because it's really cool right now 
as you can see the number of downloads up there you download it click on a folder double click on a project that's it Everything is already patched up. You got your texture. Click on the eye material. So this is the texture. We go on the eye material and uh, let's give it another color. I like it purple. I'm not saying you don't have just to download this, change the color, and like post it on Instagram. You can do it if you want, it's not that fun, but this is just a way to learn and like and start really easy to make it more complex with your imagination, I guess. Don't stop here, guys. I want to change, you know, uh, I want the, the eye to have different colors, so I opened another material for the left eye, and uh, I'm gonna copy the settings of the eye material. And there you have it. We can Give it a color as well. So, this is really cool. If you like this kind of effect, make sure you download this patch and this template. Have a look around. you have a phase occluder to occlude that little part of the iris that will pop up and just look like a circle in front of your eyes which is something you don't want so let's you know you can download all of them let's download plastic face effect which went really cool at least at the beginning download it see it's been helpful that we copied our um, email address earlier so this is really cool already click on the materials mess around with them See, you have the face mesh mask up there on Albedo. I don't even know how to say it. Try to add the different texture inside surface parameters. And just put in random image I've downloaded just to show you the effect. But of course you can make the coolest thing out of this. So, you see what's happening, you can mix it up with the, the patch we just downloaded a minute ago, the environment map, and start connecting them up together and create the coolest effect. We have manis, you know, you can download all of them and like see how they've been made and uh, how they work and make it yours. Let's download just the last one or a few more. It's been already a long tutorial, so this is just to show you what you can do with this website. It's really cool, especially if you're starting out or even if you're not starting out and uh, like me, it's been I've been making filters since June 2019, so 
I'm still beginners to and uh, it hasn't been even one year so this is really helpful I wish I knew it way earlier actually I just like find it out last week so here is how to make uh, the pattern segmentation mask you can change the color of course and do great things with this as well and uh, yeah that's it I'm gonna post the link of this website in the descriptions you can go and just download everything you can go they have tutorials you can watch them they're pretty cool I watch them all and I always look for new ones you can go on blog and see this blogs here talking about filters and all the coolest stuff and that's it so remember to save this website and use it to learn I hope you enjoyed this tutorial even if it's uh, it was a little bit different but I think this information will really help you in future thank you so much for watching see you soon guys